What's going on, world? Once again, it's your man, Mr. Mac. AllHipHop.com, 15 year anniversary. And since we're on a classic site, we have no choice but to interview a classic artist. If you don't know this man, that's your fault, not mine. Welcome, P. What up, man? Prodigy of the yes. Infamous. What's going on with you, man? Let's talk about it. What's, Shit, what's man. Going on? Just, uh, you know, working, working. Um, been on tour a lot. We just got off the we just got off the uh, 20th anniversary Mall Deep tour. Mm -hmm. We did like 40 dates in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just dropped I dropped two books since I've been home. Right. First sure. one was an autobiography, my infamous life, and um, the second one I just dropped recently is uh, called H and I C. It's a fictional book. It's like a short novella, 90 pages. Okay. Um, it's one of a series of like 10 that I'm doing. Okay. Um, I started a publishing company called Infamous, and it um, distributed by Akashic Books out of Brooklyn. What, what, where does this drive come from? Like, what, why is it that you've never been satisfied? Not a bad thing, but why is it you've never been satisfied to just do music and leave it at that? I think it comes from like my grandmother, man. Um, I saw my grandmother build her business from her basement in her crib. Like, she owned and operated her own business. She was a very successful black woman. Like back in like the 40s and 50s when it was like, you know, racist and it was hard to come up for, for any black person, like, you know what I mean, or, or you know, minority person. So it's just like seeing her with her business and how she built her business to a successful, like, million dollar company, she taught me a lot. She used to talk to me about finance, money, saving your money, just doing different things and how to really just own and operate your business and have like, you know, nobody can really do nothing by themselves. You need a good team of people around you, a circle of people around you. Help. So a lot of my drive comes from her, just from her experiences and things she taught me, and a lot of it just comes from just wanting to be successful. Like you know what I mean? Um, like I'm never satisfied. Like you know I don't, I don't ever get like tired or like oh, I can't do this anymore. I never had that. Never run into my mind ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, speaking of speaking of teams, I gotta say as a fan. It's good to see you and have back out on the road, doing your thing, performing the records that we all know and love, because for a minute it was looking shaky. We're in the age of technology now, so it's like, it's easier for things to get out there if you let it out there, like, for the whole world, you know what I mean? Right. It was corny though, like, me and Hab, we, we're like brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've been through incredible amount of shit, you know what I'm saying, together, like, for us to even to even be mad at each other. Like as soon as, as soon as like it had woman right now, we gonna start smiling like, oh shit, what up? Like anytime I see him, like, you know what I mean, it just bring a smile to my face. That's my brother, like, you know what I mean? So whatever, we had a little disagreements that spilled out to the public. That was corny, but um yeah, it is what it is now, you know what I'm saying? We back on the road, we doing albums, we working on the next Mob Deep album right now.